All right, let's keep it rolling. This next one is going to be filled with championship gold. Please welcome to the stage the current pound for pound king of BKFC, the double champ, Lorenzo the Juggernaut Hunt. And facing off against them will be the hard hitting world heavyweight champion, UK's very own Mick Terrell. Gentlemen, please have a seat. Mick, you're from uh, you're from the UK, of course, birthplace of uh, bare knuckle. Uh, you're used to fighting heavyweights, and, and Lorenzo is not. You feel he's uh, he's bitten off more than he can chew here. Um, the biggest part of Lorenzo is his mouth, which is going to be he's at the punch on the fruit. Hmm. It's very serious. Uh, <laughs> Uh, being ranked the number one pound for pound uh, bare knuckle fighter, uh, Mick, in the world, how do you stay motivated and continuously strive to, to improve? Um, I like beating up big guys. So <laughs> this is kind of like uh, one of my favorite things to do in the world is to prove these big mouth fat guys wrong. They think that because they're heavy, got it, that they can beat anyone, but they're wrong. Thank you, huh? That, and and Mil, do you, Mil, do you feel like a win over uh, Lorenzo on April 27th will make you the pound for, top pound for pound fighter in the sport here? I'm not too sure I'm a pound for pound, obviously, Lorenzo. I've, I've got a lot of respect for the way Lorenzo fights. He's good, you know? But, like, pound for pound, what does that actually mean? Does it, I mean, really, pound for pound, if you're, if you're five stone and you find a 12 stone man, and you, you're going to get beat off a 12 stone I'll man. I'll tell you what it means. It means that anybody, anywhere, in the world that stands in there with me is in more trouble than they've ever been in in their life. And it's been proven. I have the most knockouts in BKFC. I have the most wins in BKFC. I, I am the king of you. BKFC. And the only reason you got that belt is because they gave you the shot before they gave it to me. I think I've got more knockouts than you actually. I've had 10 Ben other fights, I've stopped it. Listen, we're not talking about what goes on over in the UK. We're talking about what goes on right here in the great America. And that's where you're at, and that's where you're going down. You're going down right here. The belt is staying right here. We don't care what you did over there fighting them toothless bums. You finna come over here and fight the best in the world. Your thoughts, Mick? Lorenzo, I'm not being funny. When you get put on the back foot, and I will put you on the back foot, I want to punch you very, very hard. How? You're too slow. You're too flat-footed. Lorenzo, you, you, you send telegrams when you throw your punches. Your hooks come from about four miles away. What's a telegram? <laughs> Let's stop the games. Listen, Yo, hold on, listen there's a reason I'm here, folks. Uh, Mick Terrell got lucky. He took the belt over, overseas with him. I'm here to bring it back home. Look, I'm, that's what I do. They call the assassin. I am the best bare knuckle fighter in the world. And they call the specialist here to come bring that belt back. You're the best of beat up little people. That's a bully. Everybody. No, not everyone. I watch your sport. You keep spawning little people. Yeah, you don't spawn big people. I don't need to. All I need is you, your face. That's all I need. All I need is you can't take a shot, Nick. I've watched you take punches and take a knee. I've never taken a knee. I've watched you. So okay. you, you don't got it. No, don't you don't got it, Nick. Nick, well, what is your prediction for this fight? I'm going to put Lorenzo on the back foot. I'm going to punch him very hard, lots of times. And he's going to be, I'll tell you what, Lorenzo's very explosive. Lorenzo's going to be good for about two to three minutes. And then the weight's going to start getting you. I'm going to lean on you. I'm going to push you on the back foot. And I'm going to catch you straight on your chin. And I can't miss it because your mouth's up big. And you're going to sleep. <laughs> Lorenzo, what's your prediction, sir? I'm bringing the bell home. It's as simple as that. And um, when Mick Terrell shows up fight night, he's going to realize he's in the ring with the most violent, vicious, Bitter knuckle fighter in the world. This is not back home where you guys were fighting for crumpets. You right here fighting for real money in America, and you might not make it home if you keep running your fucking mouth. Lorenzo, you're getting dropped off middleweight. You're getting dropped off middleweight. Come on. That's, that makes all the more sense in the world. Smaller guys can get in, they can get punches in that you can't get in. Their reaction time is faster. Mike Richmond was a monster, and I put him away. 
And I, 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 I'm the Irish BKB champion, a cruiserweight. I was a cruiserweight. I used to fight like I'm now a heavyweight. I've fought heavyweight lots of years. What will you be after I sit you down? I will be champion. You will be crying, most likely. Oh. Mm. Well, gentlemen, right now, let's get some uh, questions from the media. Cyrus, go ahead. Yeah, so all right, we got from the Mike and Misha. This is for the champ champ, uh, Lorenzo Hunt. Can you put into words how important Winning this fight at Knuckle Mania 4 is for you. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I can. Um, after I assert myself as the most dominant bare knuckle fighter in the history of the world is that, that has ever done it, I'm going to travel the world and basically challenge all the other champions to a bare knuckle fight uh, for Bare Knuckle FC. Then after that, I'm going to go around all America and just give all the tryout guys a chance. I'll make it simple as a talent scout. If you knock me down, you get a contract in BKFC and I'll give you a $10,000 sponsorship. Anybody in America who can knock me down can get a contract. I'm looking past you, bro. You can't, you have nothing for me, Mick. You'll be an afterthought shortly. Wait, what? An afterthought. Nobody will know you anymore. You're going into retirement, into the ether, with the rest of those guys that ran their mouth about what I could do to them. They're gone. The people I fight, they don't fight anymore. Lorenzo, can I remember after I won that title, I'm on the press conference, and you said I would not come back. Unfortunately, mate, I'm back, and I'm gonna hurt you. I like that about you. Uh, Mick Terrell said I'm his favorite fighter. Why? You could. You're great to watch. I like watching you. Then you know what's about to happen. Yeah, I'm gonna burst your lips open. <laughs> Okay, gentlemen, one more from the media. This is Frank Kilvago with FightHype.com. Um, this is kind of a double question here for Lorenzo and Mick. Um, being that you're chasing your third division world title, um, obviously that's just bigger than just what's on the line. You know, it's kind of cementing your legacy as a bare knuckle fighter. Um, Mick, uh, do you want to keep him from receiving such status in the BKFC, um, winning uh, th th uh, titles in three divisions? Do I want to win titles in three divisions? No. He's looking to do that. So that's what we said there. Well, I'll answer for him because he's a little slow. He's already a little punchy. Um, anyway, so it's not that he even has a chance to keep me from becoming the, the, the triple world champ. What he needs to do is try to make it home the way he came here because I'm going to be swinging and knocking pieces off of Mick Terrell. He's bigger than me, that's true, but he's soft. Look at it. He's soft everywhere. I can punch you in your tit and knock you down. Bro, you're soft everywhere. And this is you after training. You've been training now for about two months, trying to get ready for me. You lost about maybe 15, 20 pounds, and you're still soft. You're still soft. A body shot will put you down. Lorenzo, you threw your shots from like five meters away. And you're too slow to move. I'm telling you now, you will get caught. As soon as you throw a wild hook, you'll get caught with a counter punch straight down the middle. Risk and your you, life for a jab. You cannot fight Risk your on the life for a jab, buddy. Risk your life for a jab. You cannot fight on the back foot, and you know you cannot. You know what I, I love fight about, on the back foot you know what I love about unconscious people? They never say I'm sorry. They never say that they were wrong. They're always right. Even when they're asleep, they woke up and they don't know what happened. I'm going to knock you out. They gave me a knockout bonus. They paid me extra to knock your ass out. I'm going to knock you out, bro. You've lost your money. You've lost your money, I'm afraid. You're going to get no money. Okay, gentlemen, one last question before our face-off here. Hi, Adriana Noriega from ABN Sports and Fox Deportes. This question is for both of you. Would you guys be able to give us a description of how you visualize the, fi the fight going on, and at the end, how do you visualize the victory going? Basically, Lorenzo's going to come out flying like he always does. That's what makes him good. He's going to come out flying. He's going to get caught with a couple of counter shots. I want to put Lorenzo on the back foot. The stamina's going to kick in. I don't think Lorenzo's going to have it. And I'm going to knock Lorenzo out. Um, I can give it to you. Uh, this guy is really slow. He comes out really slow. It's almost like he's stuttering in his brain and the way that he thinks. I'm going to come out flying. I'm going to press him. I'm going to hit him in his belly button. I'm going to hit him in his tits. I'm going to hit him everywhere that he expect that he couldn't train. And then I'm going to touch that jaw. And when I touch that jaw, he's going to change. He's going to start swinging wild punches. When he miss, 
he's gonna look up like he fell asleep driving. Anybody ever fell asleep driving before? When you wake up, you're gonna be like, shit, I could have died. <laughs> well, gentlemen, we're gonna find out how it all goes down April 27th. If we wow. can please yeah. uh, step up and for a face off. Thank you, gentlemen. Big talk. Dead man. Dead man. Dead man. All right, up next, we're going to hear from the president of BKFC right after this break. <laughs> 